Hey there guys and gals out there in YouTube land. Uh, a quick tutorial on how to set your uh, recording levels in Camp Studio. Um, I use Camp Studio quite a bit at work. Uh, create simple little how-to videos. Uh, usually no more than five or six minutes long. Uh, detailing how to do specific things. Much like what I'm doing with this particular video. Um, anyway, one of the things I struggled the most with when I started using the program was that I would I would I would create a recording and I do a screen you know the whole whole thing and and then I found that my target audience uh, when they got the video would have to play you know turn their their speakers way up to be able to hear what I was saying uh, and it turns out that it's a real easy fix all I gotta do is you know increase the gain on on my uh, on the microphone that I was using for the recording uh, so anyway I want to show you how to do that now real easy fix uh, by the way, I'm using a Windows 7 professional computer, but this should work for just about anything. Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista. Uh, I've not used Windows 8, but I imagine it's going to be pretty much the same thing for Windows 8. Anyway, you're going to find your little speaker on the taskbar. Right-click on that guy and then go to Properties. I'm, I'm sorry, Recording Devices, uh, because that's what we want to change. That's going to bring this guy up, and it's already got the Recording tab selected. You'll notice that I have two microphones in this particular case. I have a microphone that is built into my webcam. That's not the one that I'm using right now because it does not have a check mark. The check mark is the one that I'm using now. It's set as the default device. Uh, and that's the one I want to modify. So you just right click on it and go to properties. Uh, and then here you're going to go to the levels. You're going to increase the level. Now, default, when I first found this setting, was somewhere down in like 80 here, and then this guy was all the way down here. Now, you should have heard my voice significantly drop. The volume of my voice should have just significantly dropped uh, when I moved this slider down. Uh, and again, this was the default setting. Uh, so essentially, all you have to do to fix the problem is raise the boost on your microphone. This is increasing the gain. Just raise the boost on your microphone, and the microphone becomes more sensitive. It's going to pick up more of the sound uh, in the room where you're at. Uh, I also raise it to 100 here. But you're going to hear, I'm going to take it up one more, and now you're going to hear me even louder. Now, the higher you go, the more sensitive your microphone becomes. Um, and it's sensitive in every regard so it's not just making my voice louder but it's also picking up ambient noise and that may or may not be a problem depending on on, on the video that you're producing and what it's for but again if you go all the way you're gonna I should be booming in your speakers right now I should be very loud you may have to turn me down but along with a louder voice you should hear a significant hiss or, or, or hum in the background because again it's it's the microphone is now very very sensitive in my particular case, I found that this setting down here is the best for me. Um, your, your environment may be a little different. You may want to go a little bit higher. Um, I, it, I guess that basically all depends on your particular situation. But this is the, this is the setting that best works for me and the stuff that I produce. Um, seldomly do I have to go into post-production to clean up the sound or you know, eliminate that hum. Uh, so this, like I said, for you know, 90% of all the stuff that I do, this is uh, this is more than adequate. Anyway, hope this helps. Um, questions, comments, suggestions, by all means, please uh, please post, and uh, I'll do what I can uh, to get back to you. You guys, thanks, and have a have a great one.